Hello people, in this video let us look at incidence versus prevalence. First look at this diagram here. Uh, what, what are you seeing here? This is Jan 1st to December 31st, one year time they are taking. And they are showing some cases here. This is case 1, this is case 2, this is case 3, this is case 4, this is case 5, case 6 here, case 7 and case 8 here. So, so many cases are there in this one year. Okay. So, uh, look at this point prevalence Jan 1st. Jan 1st, how many point, they are saying point prevalence on this day, Jan 1st, how many cases are there? 1, 2 and 7, right? 3 cases, totally. <coughs> 3 cases are there on Jan 1st. So, prevalence, a uh, point prevalence, Jan 1st, you have 3 cases. And uh, December 31st, how many cases you have? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 cases on December 31st. That is the prevalence, point prevalence, that is prevalence. What is incidence? Incidence are the new cases. So, let us say from Jan 1st to December 31st, new cases, what and all you have? One new case here, one new case here, one new case here, one new case here. Four. Four new cases you have. So, that will be the incidence. Incidence would be the um, new cases. Three, four. So, some four, total four cases are there. New cases. So, point prevalence on Jan 1st, three cases. On December 31st, there are four cases. Okay. So, that's it. You have understood what incidence and prevalence are. Incidence and prevalence. Look at the spelling prevalence. Let's look at incidence first. So, it is incidence is the number of new cases occurring in a defined population during a specified period of time. So, uh, if we use the data that we saw there, how can we apply that? Number of new cases. Here they are taking example with more data. They are saying that there are 500 new cases of particular illness in a population of 30,000 people and this is in a year. So, 50, uh, 500 people have disease amongst 30,000 mm, in a year. So, here they are taking population of 30,000 in a year, not population at risk, right? In the entire population they are taking as at risk, is it? So, 500 divided by 30,000 into 1000. So, they are getting as uh, what? 16.7 uh, something is the 16.7 per thousand per year like that you have to write per thousand per year so that will become the rate uh, incidence rate remember it's a rate incidence rate okay remember these are the 500 are the new new cases okay they are new cases during a given period of time specified population or population at risk it refers to new spells or episodes of disease Okay, over a period of time per thousand population. This is a very simple way of putting it. Now there are some uh, new things. They are saying if this population, some people are getting the disease twice within the same period, then what do you do? In the one year they are getting two, two times, then what do you do? So that time we will take this uh, spells, number of spells of sickness in that period divided by mean number of persons. Mean is the average number of people. So here you will take the number of times the case happened, right? Number of spells of sickness for same person, different person, number of spells of sickness anyways. So, all of them will become new cases divided by mean number of persons. This is good for acute conditions, okay? Then there are special incidence rates like attack rate and secondary attack rate. So, uh, attack rate they are using in epidemic when population is exposed to risk for a limited period of time like in an epidemic. Okay, So, let us see the formula here. Attack rate, number of new cases for a specified disease during a specified interval, time interval. So, again same thing, new cases only. Divided by, new cases divided by total population at risk during the same interval. What is different here? It is the same thing, right? Number of new cases of a specified disease during specified interval of time. Total population during same interval into 100, 100, 100. Oh, it's within, it's, it's expressed as a percent. Okay. That's the only difference I see. Then secondary attack rate. Let us go to secondary attack rate. Secondary attack rate is uh, number of exposed, exposed person developing the disease. Okay. Within the incubation period. This we have already seen, right? In many other videos. So it is the number of cases within exposed people right number of cases within exposed people within the incubation time right so this is the secondary attack rate it is defined as the number of exposed persons developing the disease within the range of incubation period following the exposure to a primary case 
so it is nothing but second if this is a primary case this guy has the disease there are a lot of people exposed to him right so many people are exposed to him and in that some people get the disease so this will uh, this will be three three people have got the disease so number of cases within the exposed people right number of people who get the disease so number of people who get the disease amongst the exposed people in within the incubation period they should get the disease so remember attack rate and rate and secondary attack rate are special incident rates now let's go to use of incidents rates so you will use all these incidence rates to control the disease to do research on the cause the pathogenesis the distribution of the disease how will you prevent etc so basically let us say you have created a national health program to uh, stop you know to bring the incidences under control and that uh, incidence rates are still going high that means that program is not working you will have to launch a new program so for that you will again have to find out the cause and pathogenesis and how to basically stop this disease from occurring so that the incidences don't happen new cases should not happen some uses you will write right now let us look at this diagram again so what are the incidences incidence means you should have a um, duration it's a rate so there's a duration within this duration new cases new cases was one new case here new case here new case here new case here so here the new cases are four okay so now let's move to prevalence prevalence means what prevalence means old cases plus new cases during that time that's all okay so prevalence will be all the cases at a given point of time old and new all cases at a given point of time old cases plus new cases okay so let's go back to that diagram there so between jan 1st and december 31st if you want this will become period prevalence right this is period prevalence at a particular point if you want like jan 1st that will become what that will become point prevalence okay this is point prevalence and this is period prevalence so let us look at point prevalence at jan 1st the point prevalence is there are three cases and what is the period prevalence between jan 1st and december 31st you have one case here two here three four five six seven total seven cases in this period so this is the period prevalence and this is the point prevalence okay so what and all are the types of prevalence point prevalence and period prevalence okay this you will write this point prevalence is usually used okay this is the most used one so when somebody says prevalence uh, you can uh, refer to point prevalence okay so point prevalence is most common now what is period prevalence here you will be using mid interval population okay mid interval population you will be using what did we uh, why are we putting this mid interval population so basically we took from jan 1st to december 31st right so the population can be varying at all times so we will take the mid year mid interval population we will take and that we will put here that will be the population because population is variable and number of uh, cases old plus new we are putting on top okay so mid interval population this they don't use much okay period prevalence they don't use much what they actually use is the point prevalence now let us look at the relationship between prevalence and incidence look at this uh, photo here so here there is a collector right water collector and here there is um, a outlet right so basically here water is coming and this is new water so that becomes incidence and prevalence is everything that is prevailing here old water plus new water everything is mixed here so this is prevalence and this is uh, anything that comes out that is death but that will not death or recovery this will not add to the prevalence that's nice right death or uh, recovery will not add to the prevalence prevalence is old plus new water incidence is only the new water nice right so what is the relationship between um, prevalence and incidence so prevalence is equal to incidence into d that is what duration instead of time they have written as duration we could have just written as time right okay duration so this is uh, incidence into mean duration i into d so they are saying it is prevalence is equal to incidence into mean duration okay so that will be prevalence this is the relationship okay 
I'm not sure how exactly to apply this formula for what we have seen. So incidence, how many we saw in one year? In one year, we saw how many incidences, new incident, new cases. One, two, three, four, four, four new cases we saw. So here we should be getting four new cases into duration is actually one year, let's say. So prevalence, mean duration. So, this is not the duration. This is the mean duration of the disease. Okay, okay. Of disease. That makes sense. Mean duration of the disease. Right. So, this is not the duration we should consider. It's the duration of the disease. Duration of illness. So, the mean duration of illness. So, let us say, from this, let us understand what the mean duration of illness is. This guy has for like more than a year. This guy has for two months or three months. So let's just take the mean duration of illness in this case as a, uh, two months. Okay, so the answer will be eight. Prevalence will be eight. Okay, so it's just an example. So if you saw for prevalence, they were multiplying by hundred. For pre prevalence, you should multiply by hundred. Don't forget. Okay. So you got the formula for. The relationship between prevalence and incidence. From this you can anyways derive all the other formulas. Incidence is equal to prevalence divided by D. Duration is equal to prevalence divided by I. All those formulas you can arrive at. Tuberculosis has high prevalence rate. Okay. So all that they are arriving at here. Tuberculosis has high prevalence rate. So usually if incidence is more, prevalence will be more. If duration is more, prevalence will be more. Right? If incidence is more, duration is more, prevalence will be more. Now let us say we gave vaccines to these people and uh, we reduce the incidences. Okay. We will reduce the incidences of the uh, case by giving vaccines. So that time prevalence will reduce. And remember here according to this photo you can see deaths will reduce the prevalence. Deaths will not re reduce incidence but death and recovery will reduce the prevalence. Where will you use prevalence? You will estimate the magnitude of health or disease problems. Prevalence rates are especially useful for administration, planning, hospital beds, how much uh, hospitalization will be required, rehabilitation facilities, like how many, how much you have to plan for, keep the person in the hospital for how many days, keep treating the person for how many days, etc, etc. So, that will be the prevalence importance. Now, let us go back and revise what we saw in this video, incidence versus prevalence. So, we saw this diagram to help us <clears throat> understand the incidences and prevalence. Incidence rate, incidence is a rate, new cases into 1000, remember, divided by population at risk into 1000. This is some spells if people are following more than once if they are following, falling ill. Special incidence rates, attack rate and uh, secondary attack rate are called as uh, special incidence rates. Use of incidences, again same epidemiology, all that you will write, control disease. Prevalence multiplied by 100, okay. Prevalence, you have point prevalence and uh, period prevalence, okay. Period prevalence, they don't use much, point prevalence is important. Old cases plus new cases will become prevalence. Prevalence is equal to incidence into duration. Duration is the mean duration of the disease. Disease not and the time period in which you are trying to calculate the number of cases, etc. TB has high prevalence rate. Uses you can say of all the epidemiology, all that you will write. Uses and all you can write. Okay, so you have understood prevalence, incidence, difference. That's all for now. Bye-bye.